Hello, welcome back. In our last lecture, we have developed our keyword driven framework. So that means instead of writing multiple functions to automate travel website, what we have done, we have abstracted those things to an Excel file and then in that Excel file we are giving the steps and then the program, that keyword driven framework that whatever we have written is going to drive based on the data from the Excel set. Right? So now let's see if we can use this program to drive a brand new website and that website is kayak.com. So what is the steps? The steps are first open a, web, open a browser. Okay, so that is a step number one and that I have done here called open browser and what is the keyword for that? That keyword is open underscore browser. Then once I open that browser, I want to navigate the website kayak.com. So therefore, what I'm going to do, the second step is go to the URL. Okay, and what is the keyword for that? Navigate underscore two and what is the parameter? That parameter is kayak.com. So once we are in this website, then we have to put data to this from city. How to put data to from city? We need to locate how to find this element. Do we uh, you know, inspect element with Firebug? And looks like this is the HTML that is rendering this thing. It's very obvious. We are getting an ID. So therefore, the location strategy will be by ID. And that is what I just did. I The, the location strategy ID. And then the, the string is origin. And then the keyword here is send underscore keys. Because I am going to send something to that, to this to this location and that value is SFO. Similarly, what I have done, I have done all the steps that I need and then how, what is the keyword associated with that and then in case that keyword is supposed to be done something on the web UI, then I have given the additional parameters to find that element. Once I, once I fill this Excel sheet with all these parameters and the steps, for this case, for kayak.com, I don't have to do anything. The same program that used to run for Travelocity and Orbis is going to run kayak.com provided I give this uh, uh, proper values for this thing. Right? So, what you have to do if tomorrow you have to you have to automate priceline.com, okay? Just give the steps and then what is the keyword that that will identify each step and then how do you like the, on, and then these parameters that's all that you need to do and then if you run this program that program is going to automate priceline.com okay so let's save this file okay so basically our keyword.xls now is going to find from orbits because these are the steps that is given for orbits and then it's going to find from travelocity then it's going to find from kayak okay so let's run this program to see if this thing working or not Okay, so the first or first time it is running orbis.com because that is the you know, very first in the steps that we have given, and then it it, it will eventually finish orbis.com and then it will. So now it's going to travelocity.com, it's finished travelocity.com and then it's going to kayak.com. So this is the kayak website, right? Right. So and then this closed browser is closing this thing. So see like how easy it is right now. Look at the power of this this keyword driven framework, whatever you, you developed. So you just abstract the Java programming so that if tomorrow someone in your team without any experience in Selenium but very basic experience on how to look at element that means whatever we taught in chapter 2 they can basically automate the website using couple of steps. So this is what we have learned so far. First, we, we did a record using the Selenium IDE. Then, we understand that Selenium IDE does not have a lot of things that we want. Then, we write everything into a program. That program ran from Eclipse and we use two things, either RC or WebDriver. Then, predominantly, we started to run WebDriver because that is what is Selenium 2.0 and that is what the future is. Then, whatever the WebDriver we, we built, then we build that one using different data set and that is called data driven framework okay then in data driven framework what we have gone we have created that function and then uh, you know search by orbit or search by travelocity and then we given different types of data for different sets of data to, to find out the price then 
we decide that okay like you know there is a, there is a multiple ways that you can find multiple different website from which you can find then what we did what we did we generalize those things keyword driven framework in the keyword driven framework what we have done you just give the steps and then the keyword for that and then the, then the parameters and just using that we can drive any website using this keyword driven framework 